In this video, we are going to learn how to write a covalent compound formula in just two easy steps. First, write the symbol of the element, then identify the prefixes being used in the compound. What are the different prefixes? We have one, that's a mono, two, di, three, tri, four, tetra, five, penta, six, hexa, seven, hecta, 8 octa, 9 nona, 10 deca. So now, let's have an example on how to write covalent compound formula. We have here carbon dioxide. Now, simply follow our two easy steps. First, write the symbol of the elements. We have C for carbon and O for oxide means that's oxygen now let's proceed with our second step identify the prefixes being used in the compound that is di di means two okay and therefore we're going to put two as the subscript of our oxygen that means di since there is no prefix being used for compound therefore we're not going to put anything Hence, our chemical formula for carbon dioxide is CO2. Easy, right? Let's have another example. And our covalent compound is dihydrogen monoxide. As a reminder, get a periodic table if you're not familiar with the symbol of the elements. So now let's follow our two easy steps. The first one, write the symbol of the element. That is... H for hydrogen and O for our oxygen. Second step, identify the prefixes being used in the compound. We have the word di and mono. Di means two and mono means one. But we're not going to write one in the compound because it is understood as an imaginary number. Always remember, write the number after the symbol of the element as a subscript. Dihydrogen monoxide is the chemical name, H2O is the chemical formula, and water as we know it as its common name. Again, dihydrogen monoxide is H2O. For our next example, we have pentaphosphorus octanitride okay now let's have our first step that is write the symbol of the elements in the compound we have p for phosphorus and we have n for nitride Again, if you're not familiar with the symbols of the elements, get your periodic table as your reference. Now, let's proceed with our second step. Identify the prefixes used in the compound. What are the prefixes that we have? We have penta for phosphorus and octa for our nitride. Penta means 5. Therefore, we're going to write 5 after the symbol P. Then octa means 8, therefore again, we're going to write 8 after N as our subscript. So, our chemical formula for pentaphosphorus octanitride is P5NA. Got it? So easy, right? Very good. Do you have any questions? Just comment below. So now let's proceed with our next example. We have here trisulfur tetracarbide. Now identify the symbols of the elements in the compound as our first step. So what is the symbol for our sulfur and the symbol for our carbide? Right, S for sulfur and Carbide is the carbon, which is C. Very good. Now, 
Can you identify what are the prefixes used in the compound? Very good. We have dry for sulfur. And of course, we have tetra for our carbide or the carbon. So let's write three in sulfur, so our tri. That's it. And then we're going to write tetra or four in our carbide. Again, don't forget the prefixes will become our subscript in the compound. That's why it should be written after the symbol. Hence, the formula for trisul for tetracarbide is S3C4. Got it? Very good. Now, for our last example, we have hexafluorine decoxide. Can you identify what are the symbols of the elements in the compound? The fluorine and oxide. Fluorine is very good. That's F. How about our oxide? That is oxygen, which is very good. That's O. Since you already have the symbols of the elements, now let's proceed with the second step that is identifying the prefixes used in the compound so what are these prefixes very good we have hexa for fluorine and deca for dioxide can you write what is the number means hexa very good that's six how about Deca. That is very good. That's 10. Therefore, our formula for hexafluorine decoxide is very good. That is F6O10. Before we proceed, please subscribe, like, and share this video and enjoy learning thank you so are you ready for our quiz i am pretty sure that you are already ready and now it's your turn write the chemical formula of the following covalent compound 